Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, I Heart Aries. My name is Chelsea, and I hope everybody is having a great summer day. It's about the thunderstorm here. The sky is about to crack open. But if you know anything about Louisiana, it'll be dry probably about an hour after it rains. <laughs> so let's take a look here. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. What do you need to know at this moment in time? All right, so ooh, let's take a look. Let's see here. What does new Aries need to know about their situation? Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Mm. Okay, so we have, I like you, okay? Um, someone likes you, romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, wanting to date. But then you got the not enough card and it came out in reverse. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, egos, and jealousy. And twin flames also came in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like somebody is like, look, the emotions that were once there in a relationship or a connection may not be enough anymore. Okay, somebody here, this is a connection. Somebody may be having a new connection, a new relationship, a new love, or there's something new that is about to start. But I feel like within some sort of situation, what the feelings or the um, relationship is not enough. I just pulled two cards here. These are out of place. Mm, okay. All right, so let's take a look at it. So let's see what this is about for Aries, Sun, Moon. Venus and Rising. So maybe the connection was very strong before. All right, let's see here. What do we have here for Aries? What do they need to know? Oh, we got friends. Okay acquaintance trust support and loyalty somebody could be yeah somebody could be friend zoning someone or no 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 spirit was like no wait a minute okay let me see here oh goodness no okay we got new love honeymoon phase childlike moving on new beginning hookup it could be a friends with benefits here. One night stand, intimacy, casual relationship and fling and divine intervention. What is going on here? Serendipity, catalyst, supernatural and um, karma, reconciliation at the bottom of the deck and magnetic attraction. Hmm. This could be a situation here where it's like a friends with benefit or somebody likes somebody who is a friend, they want a new connection, you may go, um, you may take it there, okay? But I'm seeing this is talking about two situations. Okay, they're like, yes, this is talking about two situations, two different situations, okay? This could both resonate for you, but it's two different situations. I feel like somebody is gonna be leaving a connection because it's just not enough anymore. They're not giving into it, but there's something else developing on the side or will be or has. All right. Okay, let's do this. Tell me about um, the first situation here for Aries and then tell me about the next one. There's a card in here. I wish I could take back my words. All right, tell me about the first situation that's coming out. That's where... Tell me about the first situation that's coming out here for Aries. Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Awakening. Yep. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. So somebody is waking up to something. And self-care was at the bottom of the deck. So it's like somebody is awakening to some sort of situation where it's just not enough. You're frustrated in a relationship. It's just, it's over. You know, there's fear, there's ego, there's jealousy. And somebody is choosing themselves with the self-care card. It could be a twin flame situation. A very strong connection, but the Twin Flames card came in reverse. So it's like two people who are not in alignment anymore. Tell me about this other um, situation here. So it's like two different stories. Like one can apply to you. Not. We'll see. Tell me about the other situation for Aries. 
passion. Mm -hmm. uh, trying something new you've never done before. Yeah, this is new love, new in, new energy. It could start as a friend or you guys are already friends and you hook up. And I feel like the hookup is not like, I mean, if you may take it there. It could be a friends with benefit type of situation, but I feel like it leads to more. I feel like it was divine. It was always meant to lead to more, especially with the divine intervention. It's a situation that it was always meant to go there. Ooh, be careful because children's at the bottom of the deck or there could be children that just are involved, you know, but I would be careful too if you don't want any more. Give us one more card here for the second situation. Give us some. Wow. Okay. So chemistry, you got passion and chemistry. There's a strong connection here. The attraction you feel is mutual. So if you haven't even acted on it yet, the attraction with this new person who may be a friend is, is, is mutual, is mutual. Okay. Tell me about the first situation. Give us one card here for the first situation for Aries. Thank you. I left when I saw you with someone else. So that could be you, Aries. You could have left. They, you know, you saw this person. Um, yeah, and I love you unconditionally. It was in reverse. So it's definitely a disconnect with this first situation. Tell us about the second situation with Aries. Tell us about the second situation. Wow, I'm starting to understand our connection. So Aries, like this new situation, I feel like some of you could have been friends with somebody for a while and the chemistry is just starting to be undeniable. Or again, like you just meet somebody and it's an instant click. You become friends, you start hanging out and somebody's like, they get it. It says, I will wait for you. I will wait for a sign from you and you speak to me through music. So that could be something that could be how you guys bond. Okay. Where's the deck I'm looking for? That's crazy. All right. It's right here. <laughs> It's right here. All right. All right. Let's see what's going on here for Aries. I guess we have to do two spreads because this is two different, this is two different scenarios. All right. So for the people who are um, resonating with the first scenario here where there's just a situation and again, you could, this could be both of your situations or you could just resonate with one. So you're going to get two spreads for this reading. So tell me about here, the first situation. For the Aries where it's just not enough anymore, you know, the feelings are, I mean, there could still be emotions there. It could be a very strong connection still, but somebody is frustrated in a relationship. They're not getting what they deserve. Um, they're awakening to like, this is not it. Someone's going under spiritual transformation. So you're changing, you're developing. We got the nine of cups for the first situation. Okay. Somebody could be overindulging a lot, drugs, alcohol, partying, women, men, um, just things gluttony okay is what i'm getting just doing something in excess here with the nine of cups tell me more about this situation the star if somebody's releasing something tell me more about this first situation here for aries and the two of wands moving in a new direction somebody isn't face somebody's faced with a decision a, you know it's like you are being called to a new direction this truly is some sort of spiritual awakening here and the strength you could be really fighting this urge or trying to, you know, buy time to figure things out. Tell me about this nine of cups in this first situation. Tell me about the nine of cups. High priestess. So whatever somebody is doing in excess or they found interest in something else um, or would they consider wish fulfillment somewhere else? It's like in secret. Okay. Um, the high priestess, sometimes if there's a love reading, this could be a mistress, a secret person here, um, and the towers at the bottom of the deck. So something's going to be exposed or something is coming out. Tell us, um, what is the biggest challenge for Aries in this situation? For the Aries, this re re resonates for this flipped over. Some of you could definitely have children involved. Some of you, it's telling the children about this. Um, 
It's expressing your own feelings and emotions. Maybe because you've put yourself on the back burner for so long, there's a lot that is awakening within you. And you just don't even know how to express this. We got the Ace of Swords, we got the Page of Cups, and we got the Queen of Swords here. Somebody is like, I don't want to say cold, but you're so like detached, emotionally removed from the situation. It feels like, I don't know if you're still in the relationship, you're just sticking it out, you're just there. But the biggest challenge here is that you have to express. You have to express what you're feeling. You have to be honest. You have to be true. You can't stay in this energy. Like spirit is pushing you into this spiritual awakening. There's been a lot of time invested, but the eight of cups is time to walk away. Give us one more in here for the challenge for Aries. Give us one more. Yeah, the chariot. It's time to move. Literally, physical. Look at that. And mental, it's physically and mentally you've already moved on or you may have mentally already moved on, but physically it's time for you to move too with the chariot. Like everything that you need, you desire, you want, the success that you want to create for yourself, it's all in the, it's all in the future. It's in, it's in front of you. It's not behind you. So I feel like you're dealing with a situation that is dead. It's, it's gone. The love has gone. The passion is gone. The excitement's gone. But most importantly, I'm feeling like the lack of care. You know, there's one thing about love, but at the end of the day, you still deserve respect and care and compassion for someone that you've loved for so long. Ugh, I'm sorry. One second, guys. Ugh. These dogs will be ringing the bell like they pay bills in here. All right. So <clears throat> your time's up. All right. So let's take a look here and see here. All right. <clears throat> what is advice here for Aries? But somebody here is very hard for them to move on. Tell me about the advice here from the Aries for the first situation. Well, y'all see my face look like that here, you know. <laughs> well, this is interesting. Tell me one more. <clears throat> what, 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 this one has got me stuff. Because I'm like, well, what, what's the advice? I see what you're saying, Spirit, but what's, what, what do they need to do? Huh, all right. This is more about what's coming, okay? This is totally threw me for a loop. Um, <clears throat> Aries, there's a tower coming in this situation, okay? Um, I feel like it's an unavoidable tower. I feel that it is a situation that needs to come out. It's an exposure of some sort of truth. Um, the thing is, the advice I feel like in this situation is to prepare, okay? Maybe it's something you already know. But I also want to say that it's not your place or job to save anybody. Um, the shit's about to hit the fan in somebody's relationship, okay? Um, with the tower here and the six of cups, there could be an exposure here of maybe a connection because um, the two of cups is here, the king of pentacles. I'm getting strongly like children, okay? And I saw that in the beginning, but so strongly like children, um, a child, a relationship, a birth, a pregnancy of some sort, but I'm seeing actual children, so... Not so much as somebody's pregnant, actual children. Um, seven of swords and the five of cups here. It's going to hurt. It's going to um, be emotionally draining, but the truth has to come out. The truth will set you free. Now, if this is you, Aries, just know that something is about to come out about you and it needs to come out. You may regret lying, um, you know, but it's something that needs to come out because both people deserve to be living in their truth, okay? Um, I feel for you, though, Aries, if this is being done to you, when this comes out, it's going to give you a sense of power. Um, it's going to give you a sense of stability. It's almost like this tower comes to cleanse energy, you know? And it gives you more strength with this King of Pentacles energy. I feel like, you know, you kind of, if you're, this is your reading, you already kind of know there's something that it needs to come out, needs to be exposed and you may be preparing for it. But I feel like when it happens, you may be surprised at 
how relieved you actually are and how much stronger and confident that you will feel. Like I'm really getting a confidence. Although there's going to be an initial sting, okay? There is going to be an initial sting and hurt, but I do feel that there's going to be a newfound confidence that comes with this, this energy, okay? Um, let's see here. Let's see outcome for Aries in this situation. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Some of you are going to level up financially. That's what that King of Pentacles is there too. This this is kind of like, what? Y'all know my expressions. I can't. I can't with myself sometimes. Look at that. I didn't even see that light went off and it just came back on. And somebody's going to tell me it's the electrical when this house is newly renovated. But whatever. That's confirmation from spirit right there for somebody. You're going to be popping after this situation. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Came to pick it up. <laughs> you got the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune as the outcome for you. This is literally like hitting the lottery and the jackpot. This could be like something you're creating, a new job that you struck goal with, some sort of invention, idea, creative endeavor. You could be an entrepreneur here, but this is business type of energy, very successful. And I'm telling you, with all of this mess here, eight, with the Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, and the King of Pentacles, I'm telling you, this tower gives you some sort of strength, stability, and confidence to move forward. It's kind of like that energy. You know when people get cheated on, they get left behind, whatever, especially at Aries, you know, we're going to take that power, we're going to take that fuel, and we're going to use it, right, for our success. We're going to level up after, through that heartbreak and, and that pain. And I feel like that's what you're going through, whoever I'm speaking to with this first situation, someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. And when this happens, when this tower happens, you won't be able to be stopped, okay? You won't be, you may cry a little, you may be in your feelings, because this could have been a situation where it was a, a long relationship or just... A very deep connection, like it said, a twin flame, but you're going to rise above this and you're being supported. So I feel like the tower, honestly, Aries in the situation is coming to set you free. Maybe you're not making the necessary moves that you need to make. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you're you're sitting in fear, you know, because you just don't know what's the first step to take. But I feel like this tower is going to set you free. Okay. Tell us one more here about the outcome for Aries. There you have it. That is major. That is major. Look at Fel, the death card right across it. This is going to be some transformative energy for you, okay? There is an ending that needs to happen so you can have this. You can have this. That was powerful, man. I don't know who's reading this is. I'm going to tell you, like, some of, your, some of your biggest blessings come through the heartbreak. I'm telling you. Some of your biggest blessings come through that heartbreak. And although it may be hurtful, it may be sad, don't hold on. And honestly, I don't feel like spirit's going to let you hold on because that tower means that you have no choice but to let go. If you hold on, you may be hurt in the process. So I would just release and surrender. Let's take a look here at um, <clears throat> this new situation. I don't know what cards I'm going to use. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look at this new situation. Knight of Wands and the Two of Cups. A lot of passion. A lot of chemistry, a lot of sex, all right? I already see it. I already see it. A lot of sex, okay? <laughs> Let's see here. Um, the Justice card. Somebody deserves this kind of love, though. All right? Let me see here. This attention, I would say. I just got something in the corner of my eye. All right. The thunder is rumbling, but the sky has actually cleared up. I don't know if the rain going to come, but we hear a lot of thunder. All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. So Aries, in this second situation, this could be a continuation of your story, or this is just brand new, Ace of Pentacles, Will of Fortune. Um, mm -hmm. Tell us about this situation for the Aries that this resonates with, with the friends, new love, hookup, and divine intervention. Tell me about this new situation for this Aries, this group of Aries. That wanted to come out. Well, it's back in, but it was the Two of Cups. If it comes out, it comes up. The Two of Cups keeps wanting to show itself. <clears throat> tell us about this situation Ooh, the empress didn't i say be careful if you want a baby then whoop, go ahead it's there look at that even the magicians at the bottom of the deck if you want a baby 
then it's there, okay? Some of you may be pregnant already, but if you want a baby, it's there. But I feel like this is a new, like this empress is representing a breath of fresh air, a new beginning. Look at that, the death card, transformation here. New love, um, I'm hearing new magic, I don't know. But let's see how it happens. Let's see, I saw the ace of swords. So tell me about this situation for Aries. <clears throat> I'm hearing set your intentions though. So let's just see here. So tell us about this new situation, this new love, this new <clears throat> six of wands, the empress and the six of wands. Somebody could be going through, you know, this glow up as well, healing. When I say glow up, I'm not just talking about the physical. I'm talking about from the inside out. Like you are healing yourself. You are um, going through past, uh, evaluating past traumas, doing your shadow work, releasing. And on the outside, you're glowing. <clears throat> okay so you are and i'm just not 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 just the inside but the inside from the out you know into out so taking care of your body your spiritual your physical and you got options i feel like with the two of swords here tell us tell us about this new situation for aries and the nine of pentacles i'm telling you somebody's taking care of their spiritual physical emotional everything and you're getting a lot of attention, but I feel like you, you, it's not that you're confused about what you want, but you're not, I feel like this is like not letting access to everybody. So you could have been getting, you know, opportunities or getting hit, hit on. And it's just like, mm, no, I'm not really feeling it. You know, the two of swords here, some of you could have a decision or you could have been blind to a connection too. You could have been blind to a connection. Tell me about this two of swords. What is this for Aries? Tell me about this Ten of Wands and the Lovers. There's a choice or a decision here about a relationship or a soulmate, but somebody is burdened. Somebody is like, this is this, this decision is heavy. Maybe with the friends, it could be a decision to kind of cross the line. It could be between two people. I'm also feeling like somebody's thinking like, should I engage in this situation or should I wait for some something else? Tell me about this two of swords one more time. Yeah, just what I said. Three of wands. Should I wait? <laughs> like literally somebody. So I don't know, but I feel like you could be getting drawn to something. Three of pentacles. What's the biggest challenge for Aries in this? knight of pentacles what's the biggest challenge for aries we got the um we got the knight of pentacles and the chariot i heard am i ready okay so five of swords so you could be asking yourself if you're ready you're moving slowly towards something or this person the five of swords so um it's like mental games, manipulation, somebody trying to win, you know, Aries, this could be you beating yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like when we get too much in our head, we're trying to like, what well, should I do this? Should I do that? You just like want to do the right thing, the right way, the right time. And sometimes you trip over your own, you know, your own self, your own intentions, your own actions, just by trying to do something right. Tell me more about this challenge here for Aries. Tell me about the challenge here for Aries. The Page of Cups. This is a new beginning. Love, emotions, messages. Tell me what advice Spirit has for Aries. We got the strength. What is the advice? We got the Five of Cups. We got the Hierophant. King of Swords and Six of Swords. There could be a situation. I don't feel like it's like an attachment to someone else. Somebody could be going through a breakup and just the timing is not right yet. Like a marriage, a divorce, I'm seeing with the Hierophant and the King of Swords and the Six of Swords. Like there is someone moving on and the Eight of Cups here. 
but maybe the timing is not just right and the strength because the first card out was a strength. And so it's like, spirit is like, hold back a little bit, hold up a second because you may regret it because there could still be some sort of attachment to something else. But I think it's very intense here. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry. It may not be a no, it just may be a wait. But I feel like Aries, you may be getting in your head because you're getting... I don't know if you're giving yourself mixed signals. I have to be honest. Like, I don't know. It's like you may be giving yourself mixed signals, reading something wrong or reading into something the wrong way. What's the outcome in this situation? What's the outcome? a lot of hiding emotions hiding feelings um trying to figure something out without speaking to one another is what i'm getting I'm seeing the devil at the bottom tell me and the ten of pentacles tell me about this eight of pentacles It's a lot of confusion with this. And I don't know if it's necessarily a friend and you take it to the next level or if it's somebody that you meet and you keep it as a friendship. I don't know. You you define that, okay? You define that. There may be a hookup energy. There may be a very, very strong um, attraction or connection, but it feels like somebody holds back or waits and... <sighs> What I'm, what I'm getting is that somebody here is like feeling like they're not ready, which is totally fine, totally fine. But I feel like somebody is, is, is not expressing their feelings at all. They're not speaking about their feelings at all. And I feel like the person that you're connected to would be, and this could be them. So if it's the other way around, flip it. The person that you're connected to would be totally up to just talking about that. All right. Would totally be up to waiting. I'm feeling like. But it's you, either you or them who is hiding their emotions. And I feel like there's a, this devil keeps coming out. I feel like it's just this very strong um, sexual energy between two people. And they're not talking about it. I'm getting a lot of like silence and going within and hiding feelings and emotions. But the emotions I'm getting as the king of cups is very deep. They're already there. So maybe it could be a friend where something has is growing. And that's why I'm seeing with the two of swords, look at that, the ace of wands. I'm telling you, the passion is there. I'm seeing with the two of swords, like all this, it's the two of swords is between all of this wands energy, all of this sexual energy, this passion, the lovers, it's already a connection there. I ain't telling anybody to jump a gun or do it. If you feel like you need to wait, if it's you, Aries, definitely wait. I feel like there could be more work that needs to be done within somebody because you got the eight of pentacles and I clarified the eight of pentacles. You got the 10 of pentacles, okay? Um, and the six of pentacles. So it just could be an indication of that you do need to kind of take this slow, okay? And invest in each other and continue to invest in yourself, but also be authentic, also be true, also speak your truth, you know? Don't, don't hide to try to play games, you know? And I don't know if it's you or them, but it feels like somebody's holding back. They have the judgment. You pull the last card. And the fool. So yeah, somebody has to decide if they're going to take this leap of faith or not. Somebody's at a crossroads. Yeah. The judgment, the fool, and the ace of cups. The love is there. I don't know what the deal is. It could be different for a lot of things, but the love is there between two people and there's just no forward movement. Very, very strong energy, very, very strong sexual energy, very, very strong passion, but there's also love, okay? There's also love too. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. Take care.